Hey guys, in this video we are going to talk about styling our custom components. Uh, we're also going to take a look at adding some attributes uh, so that our component is a bit more reusable. So here on the left I've just got a standard HTML page, a whole bunch of CSS style there, and then some markup, and the end result of that is this cool little name tag thing. I'm sure you've seen something like that in the past. Uh, so what I want to do is break this out into its own component. I want to carry over all that styling and let the end user plug in the first and last name and company values using attributes. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is get our scripts on the page. And then over here in my component directory, I'm going to create a new file called name tag .html. So this will be our polymer element. Whoops, got an error there. That's fine. Uh, what we're going to do here is call it name tag. Now we're not going to be doing any JavaScript in this, so I'm just going to add an attribute here called no script, and then that just tells Polymer not to worry about looking for a script tag. Now here we're going to add in our attributes with the attributes attribute, and that's going to be first name, last name, and company. So here in our template, we're going to grab this markup. We're going to drop that right there. And here where we have the name, we're going to say this is F name space L name period. And then here we'll drop in our company value. So now to style this uh, right here inside the template tag, and it can be at the beginning or the end. Uh, I tend to do it at the end. We just need to grab, whoop, grab this entire style tag from here and drop it right there. Now, one thing about the style in a Polymer component or a web component is that style is isolated to our component itself. So one thing I was doing here is using this name tag class everywhere to keep it from interfering with uh, uh, other uh, CSS on the page. So I can just delete that at this point and just stick with our uh, elements that were actually modifying here in our CSS, so I can save that really quick. Now over here, we don't need this style, and we don't need any of this markup. Instead, we're gonna have our new tag called name tag. Close that. Then we're gonna have our link, L equals import, and href equals, so it's gonna be component slash name dash tag.html. Close that off. Now here in our name tag, we need to pass in those attributes that we added. So those were right here and they are space delimited, F name, L name, and company. So here we'll just say F name equals Joe, L name equals M, and company equals egghead.io. And I think we're looking good. Let's go ahead and try that out. We'll reload this here. Yep, so there's our component on the page, and let's go ahead and just drop in another one. So this would be Joel H. Now we've got two of them, awesome. That's very, very reusable. We can just kind of hand this off to somebody and, uh, and it's gonna work right out of the box with the styling and everything. And just to kind of take a look at the uh, isolation of the styling, so here on the div, I have everything set to do this Comic Sans font. So let's jump back to our index here create a div and here we'll just say hello world we'll drop one before and after just so we can see so those two divs were not affected by the uh, CSS styling that's inside the component itself so that's pretty cool uh, let's jump back here really quick now while it's not a part of the web component spec uh, Polymer does allow you to reference an external style sheet. Uh, I don't know if I'm a big fan of that yet or not, uh, but you could take all of this and put in, you know, say name tag CSS, and then just do a link, you know, uh, uh, type of, you know, style sheet reference, and that would work just fine as well. Uh, but there you go. That is a quick look at styling our components and also a quick look at how we can use these attributes to make our component a bit more reusable. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you have a good one.